Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a sniper scope effect using a shader. So this is a very quick and a short effect that you can create by adding a simple grab pass to your shaders. So let's take a quick look at how this can be achieved. First of all, our setup is very simple. We have a camera which has a zoom script that allows the user to zoom in and zoom out and a camera or a sniper movement script. So inside the camera, we have a couple of children and one of the children is the lens. This lens has a zoom material which consists of the zoom shader. So the first functionality that we are going to discuss is the aiming of the sniper. For the aiming of the sniper, I have taken up the mouse position X and Y and converted the screen point to a world point. During this conversion, I have also taken a property called sensitivity so that there is a delay or the animation while aiming is smooth. So the next functionality that we are going to discuss is the zoom. To zoom, we have two properties, zoom speed to control how fast or slow the zooming is happening and the zoom value. The zooming takes in mouse scroll wheel as an input. Based on the scroll delta, we calculate the zoom value. So the zoom value is the zoom speed multiplied by the scroll delta and the delta time. Once we can compute the zoom value, we provide it to the shader. So let's dive into the shader. A shader consists of three properties, the main texture, the zoom, and the exponential. If you take a look at this object, the main texture is nothing but the texture that provides the night vision. Now, the grab pass is a pass that is provided by Unity, which copies the contents of the screen into a background texture. When using passes, we have to be careful about the sequence of the passes. As we have to use a texture that is grabbed by Unity, we need to put the grab pass before the main pass. Now let's dive into the main pass. The main pass is just a simple shader. As we have discussed earlier, it has a vertex and a fragment function and takes the inputs and processes. The properties here that we're going to use is the main texture, which is going to provide the night vision uh, overlay, the background texture, which consists of the contents captured by Unity, the zooming and zoom out, and the exponential value. Now let's see the vertex shader. As discussed earlier in the vertex shader, we first convert all the object space vertices into clip space vertices. Also, once that is done, we copy the UVs from the vertex or the app data structure for each vertex and provide it to the V2F, which is the vertex to fragment. Then we start doing the modification of the vertex. Now we are going to create a modified vertex in which we copy the vertex values. This vertex value being in the clip space also has four components, the X, Y, Z, and the perspective. We are going to modify the perspective by adding the zoom. As we know, the zoom can be plus or minus. Once we have modified the perspective, we use Unity's inbuilt function, compute, grab, screen, position. This function will compute the new UVs as per the new perspective divide that we have provided or modified. Now let's take a quick look into the fragment function. In the fragment function, I'm creating a new variable called background color, which will take the background texture and project it as per the new UVs. This projection happens on the object on which the shader is applied. So our lens will now have the new texture as per the new perspective. Now if I return this color, we will observe that in Unity, the overlay of the night vision has been removed, but the zoom functionality will still work after changing the zoom property. If we return the background color variable, we will observe that in Unity, the night vision has been removed. And if I change the property or the zoom value, we can see that we can now zoom in and zoom out into the texture. Now, we just create a new variable called color and map the night vision texture to the object. In the next step, we are just returning the uh, exponential value of that specific texture multiplied by the zoomed in or zoomed out background. So if we go to Unity and change the exponential value, this is how it looks. So let's talk about the key takeaways. The first one is we are using all the Unity inbuilt functionality. Second thing, we are using a shader. Third, it's very quick to do. 
there is one limitation to this that if you zoom in too much, the image is going to get pixelated. There are a couple of other techniques, but this is a simple one which can be really quickly implemented and integrated into your project. If you have any questions or comments, please drop down them in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching.